Hey, what is up guys? So, um, super crappy morning for me, honestly. Um, I pretty much just in, kind of came across my first eBay scam and I know um, we just had a post in this in the Facebook group, but somebody is trying to return an iPhone 7 Plus. It was literally just Sprint Bad ESN. Um, it was a black one, uh, 32 gigabyte, nothing wrong with it. And he is trying to return a 7 Plus with a broken home button, rolls gold. And there's a couple things that I think um, I should talk about with this case. One, obviously, I know he's scamming me. I did contact eBay already because he did leave me my first negative feedback, but I'm gonna be working on this for a while because I know he's trying to scam me. So basically, I sent it out, and one cool, th one couple talk things I should talk about is one, he did file it as a return as it was a damaged item. Not that it wasn't matching the listing, um, so I'm definitely gonna bring that up if it um, when it goes to the case because if it if he filed it as it doesn't match the listing. Um, that means it's not the, like I sent the right phone. If it's damaged, that means he received the right phone, but it's just damaged. So um, that's one thing to note. Two, he sent a message in the return request saying that. Let me read it. Um, I do not know what is happening. That this is the second order that sends me the same. And there again, I don't know what he's trying to say, but I can use that against him because um, one, he's, he's uh, he could be saying that I sent him another defective phone. One, when I checked all my eBay listings, um, and I've never sent him a phone before. And I know he's doing this because I already sent him good feedback, and I know he's probably done this with other people. I sent him the feedback, and I got this, and I sold it. He literally, the phone was delivered on July 5th, um, and it's July 13th, and he's trying to send me back this phone, obviously. So if you guys don't know what's happening basically I sent the phone everything was good and then he's trying to claim that I sent him a different phone and then if I return accept the return he's gonna send me this totally different phone pretty much it's I think he said it was like iCloud locked and um, has a broken home button but um, one thing to note is it was in my one of my YouTube videos that I did film which I'm very grateful for um, you can actually see me actually like actually um, wrapping the phone it is the iPhone 7 plus in the um, how I did like $10,000 in sales. It was in that video I checked um, and you can see me writing the label and everything like that. So I'm gonna be using that against him. So there's a couple things I definitely see that he did wrong and I hope that will work in my favor. But I just contacted eBay. I did um, do the, I contacted eBay feedback in the beginning because he didn't have a return. But now he, between the time that it was like 20 minutes till they called me, in that time he ended up filing return. So now I'm gonna call return, see what happens. Um, but if you guys have any advice, I know one of you, a uh, gentleman in the Facebook group I mentioned, this is happening to him. And honestly, never thought it would happen to me but um, from now on one I'm gonna be filming all my um, actual like me shipping the actual every single phone um, that goes off to eBay because of things like that it's just super crappy that some a hole of a guy really wants to do this but for me I know it's business there's scammy people out there and it's it, another thing that hurts is um, I know other people have had to go through this because he's been on eBay he has like 300 positive reviews and it's so easy for him to do this to somebody that's already given the feedback he gives a negative feedback. So one, I want to get the return um, close to my favor. And then if that happens, that um, negative feedback should come off of my seller actual profile. And I really need it to just because I'm trying to run an eBay business here. So if you guys have any advice on what to do, uh, if you guys didn't see that Facebook group, if you've won a case like this, let me know. Um, I know it's not hopeless because I've seen other people win these type of cases. They just had to have the right amount of like actual proof. But I've realized in the past, if you really work with eBay, um, show them that you care, show them that they can trust you. Um, it'll always really work out in your favor, no matter the deal. And if he ends up sending me the wrong phone back, I'm literally gonna contact eBay back again and say he shipped me the wrong phone because I did send this phone. Um, and if I lose the case, I'm going to say, like, literally, like, again, like, it'll work weird. I don't know, really know how it will work that way, but um, he, they're literally, I'm just going to rebuttal because I've rebuttaled somebody sending me a damaged item. Legitimately, I sent the wrong one and it got damaged in the mail and they sent me back, um, but it was more damaged than they had said. Um, so I think it got damaged again from them shipping and they didn't ship it that well So I ended up getting money back for that cause the difference in price so that worked out really well So if that happens they might have to go that route with it um, But there's I know there's many ways you can kind of really work the system in that sense So I'm uh, sorry for rambling a little bit. <laughs> I'm super frustrated I'm trying to keep my temper right now, but I'll let you guys know what happens. They should be calling me any minute now It was like a 20 minute wait call again 
for the return but pretty much for the rest of the day um, I'm gonna try to buy phones but today I'm actually gonna be going to an H&R Block Advisors and actually contact try to get um, an actual accountant to start helping me because today I actually I if you guys didn't know I I filed my e LLC a long time ago but in Arizona it takes 14 weeks to file um, which is I think the longest or one of the longest times usually it's like three to like 10 business days in every other state but I just got it today so I've been filing like I got my EIN number and then I'm trying to follow I I was gonna file the local state tax here um, but I my dad he kind of works a lot with financials and he said um, also I'm trying to invest in another business and open up a new LLC here soon so I think paying for an accountant would be pretty useful um, kind of takes the stress off of me um, and we'll just handle that back-end work for me. So I'll let you guys know exactly what happens today um, But I'm first I'm gonna go get this taken care of and then I will update you guys when I get back So I'll see you guys in the next clip Hey, what is up guys? So it is about uh, 1245 right now basically one o'clock um, And so I was on the call for a long time today. Um, you guys saw in the last clip. I was super upset but so you can tell by the title of the video, I actually won the case. And um, I honestly, one, did not think it would go that fast. Two, I didn't go, think it would go that way um, because based on previous research, I didn't think this was a common thing to win, but apparently with a lot of you in the Facebook group, it's so good to hear, even though I might have said this is the impossible case to solve. I guess it isn't, and for, I might have said false information, but um, and honestly, it's good news to me, and it should be good news to you. Um, there's actually co people in this community that have experienced the same thing. That's honestly why I created this channel, is to bring people like you, me, um, other people together to share experiences like this, um, let, let everybody know how we can solve cases like this, because obviously it's a scam. So, um, I mean, I won mine today. Um, and if you guys want to stick around to it, I'm going to share it at the end of the video as I do. I usually do my long talks at the end of the video. Um, stick around because I'll be showing you exactly how I won the case, different things I had picked out in the messages, um, what I kind of leveraged talking to the eBay representative on the phone. So, again, super excited about that. Uh, I'm going to be able to keep my money and in a sense I shouldn't be grateful for that because I did nothing wrong. But, I mean, as part of the business, there will always be crappy people out there trying to scam you. So. Um, in this industry, obviously there's people like that, but um, I create videos like this, I bring people together like this to really share their experiences. So if you are watching it right now, um, pause the video for a minute and leave a comment down below if you've had a similar experience. Um, I know a lot of you have commented how like we can win these cases on the Facebook, but put it on the YouTube channel because a lot of you, I bet a bunch of you won't end up um, actually joining the Facebook group, which is totally fine. Um, the knowledge is here, so that's just an extra source that I like and I recommend people to join. Um, it is the second link down below if you want to join, but if you have those experiences, let them know down below. Share your successes, share your failures, let me know what hasn't worked, let me know what has worked. Because for me, I think my case was a little bit different, where I know there's other reasons that in different cases, other cases could have been won, um, which didn't apply to my case, but from some of you I know that are currently going through this or will be in the future because it happens to everyone. Um, what you should be doing and you can always come back to this video as reference. So um, for now, I'm literally about to go take a shower. I feel greasy as hell um, and then uh, What do I have to do? There's an offer up message, but I'm um, still trying to buy a phone today I ended up going and the f to buy an iPhone 7 plus 320 128 gigabyte Verizon wasn't Verizon bad IMEI and it had an iCloud on it so I literally offered like 40 bucks. She didn't take it obviously um, and then Whatever, can't deal much with it. It was kind of far too, so I should have asked. That was my mistake, won't make that again. But now, um, I'm going, after I take my shower, I'm actually gonna go ship out this iPhone X, sold 256 gigabyte, I showed on my YouTube channel. Filming, that me. I'm gonna actually buy this, showing the IMBI and everything like that. I'm gonna start taking extra precaution because it might take up space in my computer, but it doesn't hurt to have it. So, ended up making 180 on this, by the way. I have to ship that out and then I'm going to H&R Block Advisors to go speak um, with a potential accountant for me that helped me, as I mentioned in the previous part of the video, that to get somebody to help me with my taxes just because things are getting a little bit hectic. I know a lot of you will do this on your own, um, but for me it's just mitigating my work. I want to focus on what I'm good at. I don't know anything about that. I'll learn. I love asking questions. I love learning like how to do that stuff, but um, I'm going to have somebody potentially do it for me simply because um, phone flipping is not my only business venture that I'm looking 
well that's one I'm in but I'm also looking like literally right now getting into some other ones which I will share with you guys in the future so with that said um, thanks for sticking around and I will see you guys in the next clip all right guys so it is currently 350 I um, just got out of a very long meeting I ended up going to H&R Block um, advisors to kind of get a little bit understanding of kind of the taxes I needed to pay um, I got a bunch of forms here <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys this stuff is hella confusing like I have no idea what I'm doing so um, I mean I went in there with a couple questions and I came out with 300 different ones but I mean the struggles of this is honestly why I created this channel again it's just like I want to show you guys if like kind of my struggles my ups and downs um, and kind of be able to relate to you guys because I know some of you are looking to file your LLC so for me as you guys didn't know I officially got my LLC today it took 14 weeks in Arizona which is re stupid really damn stupid where other states are like three four five days um, to actually get it done because I ended up going through inkfile.com I know there's like legal zoom um, but apparently you can just go through your state and it could literally be um, a really quick thing so for me um, I'm going to be filing a new LLC here, here for a new business venture um, I'm looking to invest in so you see get excited for that because uh, it's just a different source of income that I think a lot of you guys might be interested in um, but again I ended up going to H&R Block lady was super nice I kind of laid out all my um, expenses that I could write off it kind of told me um, so to give you guys a perspective like I um, on about four thousand dollars profit for me about five hundred and fifty dollars are gonna come out of that on taxes so if that gives you guys a perspective of um, how much taxes are for um, what we do based on like retail and like just buying and selling locally or on eBay um, about every four thousand dollars you pay about five hundred dollars so um, it's what it is what it is I'm not gonna complain I can't complain I, we live in a free country we have advantages of it so um, right now I just have all my stuff I have to go ship out a phone I was gonna go do um, that actual like going to the Apple store to fix that iPhone um, X but this meeting went super long and so I have to get this shipped out so I had to prioritize um, I would have been late to the Apple thing and they don't really mess with that so I just made the appointment for 530 tomorrow um, and we'll kind of see what happens for the rest of the day so I'll see you guys in the next clip Hey, what is up guys? So, it is currently about 9 p.m. right now. I am just about to edit today's video, which I'm super excited about because this is honestly um, probably the most value-packed video. It might not be um, a lot of different tips, but if you made it to this far in the video, uh, I'm sure it's because you are interested in learning how I actually won this case. So, um, again, what happened, just to kind of summarize it, um, is the buyer, um, it was sold about two and a half weeks ago. The item arrived on July 5th and then it's July 13th right now and he ended up filing a return showing a picture on the return saying that um, he received the wrong item and the home button was damaged when in reality um, and it was I it was a rose gold color when in reality I had sent an iPhone 7 plus black perfect condition nothing long nothing wrong with it and I'm sure you guys I don't really know, but probably half of you have probably um, come across this scam because it's probably just a um, common thing and I've seen it with a lot of people. Um, or you're just interested in protecting yourself in the future, which is major key for success for successfully becoming a good seller um, on eBay. So there's obviously scheming people out there and kind of diving right into it. There's a couple different things that I think really helped me um, with actually winning the case. So um, first of all is I did contact eBay. So the first thing that happened was, and I know I'm the first person to contact eBay. I know he didn't call them because he's just an international buyer. Um, so he, I mean, he probably doesn't even speak English to be honest like that. So. Um, I ended up calling them and the first thing is when I'm on eBay I always try to be as friendly as possible so um, whenever the rep says their name I will always reference their name in the conversation I will if they say they need um, just a moment to check over things I'll be like absolutely um, just kind of give good vibes I always ask how their day is like today was Friday and I was saying like you excited for the weekend um, obviously they're probably don't enjoy working there on it to be honest but um, so I was just kind of making small talk and that's a big thing with eBay I think I've had well, I'll be honest with you guys, I've had super good success with eBay. Some people hate it, some people don't, and I just think I've gotten really good kind of feedback from eBay simply because I approached it in the right way. So again, I just called them. I made small talk, um, and I really just kind of explained the situation. I didn't get heated or anything like that. I didn't call him an a-hole. I didn't call anybody names. Um, I didn't just say, like, yo, bro, like, this guy's just scamming me. Like, you need to do something. This is your problem. Like, I showed a little sympathy, um, and I'm going to be referencing. I have my notes up here. Sorry, guys, because there is a lot of points I want to cover. 
Um, but the first thing, I, I basically kind of laid it out what the situation was, and then I literally just kind of listed every point that I saw fit, which would prove my case as um, one they, they could accept and go in my favor. So the first thing was, it was I showed the past reviews. So uh, when I was looking at the eBay sellers, he had like 300 positive reviews, um, all 100%, no negative reviews. And basically what this buyer does, um, and there's many of them out there, is they will wait for you to give them the positive feedback, which I had done, um, because once you give positive feedback, you can't take it away. If you give negative feedback, you can change it, but that's one thing I learned today with eBay. So uh, be very cautious of when you're gonna leave a review, um, especially in cases like this where you can kind of see kind of weird addresses, and I'll talk about that um, as the last point as well, why a weird address uh, might mean you're gonna get scammed. But um, I showed them that I, if you can go to their profile, click on the number of reviews they have, and it'll bring you to their seller profile or their buyer profile. Um, and it actually showed, there's a little button there, you can, I don't remember exactly what it says, but you can kind of see which what feedback they've been leaving for other users. And literally, it was like red, 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 green, red, 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 neutral, red, red. It was like all, like bad reviews so it was a pretty big indication i mentioned that to the ebay rep like this guy is obviously abusing ebay trying to actually um, keep doing this to other people with these high ticket of iphones giving pe trying to get people to essentially just get the refund and then they be are able to keep the phone and just send crap send back this crappy little device the second one was i showed error in messages so he kept saying seven plus seven seven plus and he said different colors he mentioned it was rose gold that he got when in the picture he sent on ebay um, in the actual return was gold so there was a lot of mishap he didn't know what he was doing he was not good at trying to scam people and i'm honestly surprised more people haven't reported him i'm going to put his his link in the description down below like of his profile so you guys can block him as well. I want you, I want this guy to get off of eBay. So the next point that I did find, I don't know if it was something valid or not, but he had filed the return as item damaged. Um, Cause when you select a return, you can say why you want to return. He's like item damaged and he did not select item not as described. So if the item's damaged, that means he received the right item just it was broken. When in reality, we can see the two difference in items. They were two very different colors. Um, and they were just overall not the same phone. This one was black. He was saying rose gold, silver, whatever it was. Um, so again, he was he didn't do it item not, not as described. And eBay representative, honestly, it's kind of a stretch of a point, but um, he was like, oh yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. Like he was agreeing with me. And throughout this conversation, I was kind of, um, it's kind of a sales technique. You got, if you guys don't use it, I would. I just learned it over time, but make them kind of agree with what you're saying. Be like, does that make sense? I mean, am I wrong here? Like literally just make them say yes, make them agree with you um, along the way because in their head, even if they don't think that you're doing the right thing um, or you have a valid point, they're convincing themselves over this long conversation that you are um, the trusted seller and he is a scammer buyer. So um, the uh, next point, I didn't end up using this, but I did have video proof. I have YouTube videos and one of them I literally had was me shipping this phone. I sped it up a little bit just for the video, but I had done the video proof and I, if I had to, I would have actually showed it. I don't know how much it would work, um, but if you guys don't take precaution, it's just me. Um, I just like to do it just in case. And the last and final point, so none of that works, which it should, the most, po the last point which will 100% work for you, I, I can't say 100%, um, but it is literally an eBay policy. So for my buyer, I looked up the address, I originally did know this, I should, but now you should always look up the address to where you're selling. So um, if, if the address is, uh, if you look it up and it shows a freight forwarding company, that is not protected by eBay. So like for me, it was, a lot of the time they're in like Miami uh, or like New Jersey or something like that or New York, these freight forwarding companies. Look up the address when somebody buys the item and see if it's a freight forwarding company. And then you're kind of protected because eBay does not protect against that. Um, they, don't, they don't necessarily like when people use freight forwarding companies. So there essentially isn't any buyer protection on that end, but there still is a seller protection. So for me, that's how I honestly, I think I won the case was the freight forwarding um, address. And I, honest, and I had mentioned it at the very end of the conversation. And he was like, yeah, you know what? Like that's actually, uh, I forgot what he exactly said, but he said something like it was literally, I knew I had won the case at that moment. So um, that's a big thing you guys should take advantage of. And a lot of the, if you're selling these bad ESN phones, because this was a Sprint bad ESN, 
um, and with these international buyers trying to find these items, well, no matter what you're selling, uh, I'm sure many items that get shipped overseas using these freight forwarding companies with people on eBay, just know the buyer is not protected. So uh, those are usually the kind of people that will try to come at you with this scam. Um, so definitely just could take that into consideration. It'll help you tremendously. Um, and I guarantee you there's probably like a 90 to 100% success rate solely based off that that is literally eBay's policy. So overall, um, I did end up getting a negative feedback. So I'm honestly working on that right now. Um, initially, they had told me I couldn't get it off because the case was closed incorrectly, uh, which is not my fault and I'm trying to leverage that. So I really want to get that negative feedback off because one, I don't deserve it. I mean, he tried to scam me. Um, if they didn't think I was the trusted seller, they wouldn't have gave me the case. Um, the gentleman on the phone, I think, just had clicked up something wrong to close the case too early or something like that. But all the evidence was pointing towards me. I won the case. They literally said um, that he's going to get reprimanded for it. I was like, don't. He's such a nice guy. and I feel so bad um, that he had made a mistake because I know, uh, I mean, it, like, I wish I could tell them that they are making the legitimate decision. He made the right call. So um, I'm currently working on that negative feedback. If you guys watch any of the later videos, which I will be releasing probably t t tomorrow or the next day, um, I'm going to be talking about if I get my negative feedback on and what steps I take to do that. Um, I'm honestly kind of, I'm working on it. I'm showing you guys the steps, the failures, the good, the bad. So I'll be honest with you guys um, every step of the way. So if you made it to this far in the video, if you found value in it, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're not in the family, hit that little subscription button down below. I'd really appreciate the support. Um, and if you made it to this far in the video, you guys mean the world to me. I know you made it to this far because you don't want to miss out on this value. So if you have any friends or any colleagues that honestly would find this information valuable, definitely share the video. Um, let's spread a positive message. We need to figure out a way to get these eBay buyers off of there. So if you have any experiences like that, always leave a comment down below. Let's start a discussion. This is a learning platform, not just a video, not just a channel, but a place where we come together and really kind of help each other um, to become successful and not to get scammed by people um, like this. So thank you again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.